Hi right, guys, hey, we're back. We're over at the Canic booth with Adam. Oh, I don't want to give this one back. So let's talk about that one first. What do you got going on in Canic now? Did you just instantly fall in love? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was already a lust from a distance, but now I have my hands on it. Sorry, Kentrell, I get the first one. You know, I don't even have comments for that, but I do have comments about what we just released at SHOT Show yesterday, uh, our new micro compact, the Canic MC9. So the Mete MC9 is meeting all the needs of what we know has now become an industry standard in terms of the micro compact. Right. There's some amazing guns that have come out of the years, like the Hellcat, like the P365. And, you know, a lot of companies won't say their name. The fact is they did a great job with this. And, yeah. people, and, I, and people identified what they loved about it, but they also identified things like, man, it's such a good gun, but I wish it had this, or I wish it did this. And that's why they've come out with some great iterations. Right. Canic's job, Canic's goal, Canic's mission is never to be personal. Well, their goal was, was to prepare themselves to release a product that they knew the consumer would love at a price point they knew they could afford. And that's what they did. Because let's be honest, with Micro Compact for so many years, the goal was just smaller, smaller, smaller. And, and no matter how much you don't print, no matter how much you conceal it, if you can't operate that gun because it's not controllable in your hand, then what's the point of having it in your tank? And it's because somebody that has hog hands like me, you know, like you're swallowing the gun. So we said that's the first goal we had to do, was have it as small as possible. And we are just the same size as those aforementioned guns. But now let's redesign the beaver tail, bring your hand up in it a little bit. Let's work on that grip texturing to keep you solid. Let's add, if you want to have a flush mag, this is the 12 plus one that we have, but give them an option of a PQ rest to kind of give you a little more support. And we did all that. Then there's the 15 round, another capacity, 15 plus one. And you're giving yourself all this extra grip texturing. And we even have an adaptable feature that can come aftermarket that closes off that gap if you want it. Then we knew the next thing was, man, those other guns are great, but I wish they were optics red. So now every one of ours, you got that micro red dot shield right, brick, everything. marrying straight to the slide. Oh, you're gonna co-witness, that's another big key factor. Co-witness, modular, and let's talk about this. People are saying, hey, I can't get my trigger to it, or it's, it's going too far fast with the finger. So you provided the three back straps, give you that different feel. So ultimately, when you grab this gun in a hurry, you know your hand's gonna see it exactly what it needs you to punch out with the board the way you need to in a split mode. Then, where am I gonna put it? Inside the waistband holster? Check, we got that too, all in a hard case, all coming in for under 400 bucks. Yes, for under $400, you get the gun, two mags, two mags, inside the waistband holster, optic or a cleaning kit, cleaning uh, kit punch, you know, all the tools, stuff. and a hard case. And for under $400. Under $400. $399.99 is a map, $439 MSRP. And it comes in all black, FDE, and then the two tone of the Metes are known for. And the one thing that I noticed about it is, we've all been in, in, in love with the Canics, but you'll notice that they are a bit chunky. Um, but yet this one, they, they slim down to everything. 1.1 inches in width. Let me just ask this. Yeah. How many magazines can I use for the Canic lineup? Oh, look at you. That's called a setup, right? You set up I mean, a layup. Yeah. So the cool thing about it is, you know, is this is the double stack, which is an interesting thing to see on a micro compact pistol. Right. The reason we did this, we were able to ergonomically redesign it to still take standard Canic mags. Meaning you can take a 20 round TP9 SFX mag, put it right in there, and that gun's going to operate long. So. Yeah. so any Canic mag will run in these guns. But it's so small that it really, it's like, we all know that everybody tried to make the magazine really tiny and then fit a gun around it. We did. But instead you were like, well, let's just make a tiny gun and then somehow shove a big old bag into it. Which, I mean, that's exactly, that was, I believe, how the engineers wrote it up, that exact word. There you go. So, Mate MC9, look for it very soon in the range. It'll be available to uh, available to consumers. You guys should have one March 1st. Bingo. There you go. So, put in your orders now. We'll have them. Um, I have a feeling that we'll have, we have a bunch of these. It's going to be a fun gun to enjoy. And let's get into my new baby here. The new like, baby is obviously... This is amazing. This is the Canic SFX Rival S. So the S is obviously a talking steel frame, uh, forged slide. This gun is built off of the 2022 Industry Choice Awards and Ballistic Best Handgun of the Year, which was obviously the Polymer Arrival. This gun was introduced last year's SHOT Show with huge fanfare and lived up to its name. And we've done a ton of them. Yeah. We sold a ton of Those guns have done great. It also was the gun of choice for our Canic shooter, Nils Jonasson, who won five international and national competitions with it this yeah. year. The guy literally cleaned house running a stock Canic rifle. 
So the only thing that was left to do was make it heavier for those right. that wanted that recoil reduction. And what better way to do that than a steel frame gun? So this gun is everything in terms of platform that the rival was, now at 2.67 pounds, so nearly a pound heavier. So you know, between that floating of the barrel, the aggressive slicer rations, that trigger, that, re that ergonomically redesigned beaver tail we talked about, so there is literally minimal to any muzzle runs. It's unbelievable. You're shooting that gun and it's just sitting like, right where you it's just, it. It feels amazing. It's, whatever you've got back here. This was Nils. So Nils actually said, you know, let's worry less about the aesthetics of the grip and more about the functionality. So normally you see we'd have, you know, some, some gappage there in terms of like just some clear, to make it look like, he said no. He said let's grip this gun completely around. Right. These actually are removable just like any canning. It comes completely off the frame and there's three sizes of grip there that come go. with every rival test. It also comes now for the first time ever in an actual hard two-tiered travel case. So like a plain old case, right. locks, TSA approved ready, you just put locks on it, you can travel with it just like this. It comes with a competition holster, it comes with five optics plates. Because let's be honest, on a competition side, you know there's Everybody all different options. And not only that, you're obviously removing these rear sights, which are adjustable for windage and elevation. But one of the optics plates has the ability to co-witness. And that comes on both the Rival S, which is the chrome, and the Rival S dark side, which is the all black finish gun. So all of them come with the five base plates. They come with two plus zero aluminum uh, base pads for your mag. It comes with the external mag well, as well as this integrally flared like the standard Rival. And it comes with all this, and it's coming in at 949 MSRP with an 899 map. Holy and the God. black one is actually 849 with, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, 849. I mean, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't know where you guys make, how you guys make money. However, somebody's obviously paying just to sell guns as less. Than yeah, it's a strategy. It's like we, we take a loss on every one, we make it up in volume. You know what I mean? Who knows how it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I know is we have been, are big fans of the Canning series. This S is amazing. Just look at that. It's just, it just, would you look at it? It's amazing. Well, my hope is that you guys get these in your hand very soon. My hope they live up to the expectations, that the time and effort we put into them, they're fun to shoot. And we hope that you and all the rest of Missouri and everybody that's watching around the country get to enjoy it. And hopefully I can put some lead down right with you soon. Absolutely. More coming at you from SHOT Show 2023. And um, I think here's a thing over there. See ya.